Hey guys, welcome back to War Stories with John. This is episode two, and this is where I tell a stupid war story. And at the same time, I've got somebody behind the camera who works a buzzer, and I don't know when it's gonna go off. We haven't rehearsed it or anything else like that. So the buzzer goes off in mid-sentence. I have to turn and shoot these bad guys. So uh, should be fun, or at least entertaining, and uh, we'll see how it goes. I was in Afghanistan, and we were doing this infill to raid a, uh, a prison. Uh, supposedly, this prison was ruled by Taliban or Al-Qaeda or something else like that, and we were using tanks to do a certain infill. Uh, and so, uh, we, rangers don't like tanks. I was, a, I was a ranger. We don't like tanks or anything else like that. We like to be able to, out in the open, where we can kind of see what's going on, and when you're closed up in this kind of steelish coffin, you don't really know what's going on, and then you have to get out and figure out whatever else of like, anyway, we hated it. So we were doing this infill to this prison yard in tanks. Is that buzzer working? Okay. <laughs> I mean, it's a little bit of a panic. I'm like, man, come on. <laughs> but the anxiety is raising. I'm trying to... Oh, that was slow on the draw. <laughs> He got me really good. Come on, Doc. <laughs> oh, that was hard. Okay, so uh, anyway, um, uh, we were doing an infill uh, in to where this prison was, and the idea was the tank was going to let us out right in front of this huge gate so that we could do our infill in, raid this prison that had supposedly been taken over by Taliban and out. that it's supposedly been taken over by Taliban or Al-Qaeda or something else like that. So we're supposed to do that, and when you stop, jump out, you're blind, the sun is uh, completely overhead, you can't really uh, see anything, and you're looking for this big gate, and it's dust everywhere, it's confusing. Now, we had a plan. In case that gate was somehow not open, we were going to do an alternate explosive breach. So we had this huge wall charge of just all kinds of CO... Uh, I'm sorry. So we had this big... So we had this wall charge, just complete C4. It was amazing, blow a hole in the world kind of thing. And we thought, if we can't get in this huge gate or whatever, we'll do an alternate breach and blow this big hole in the side of this prison yard, uh, inside of the, you know, uh, side of the prison. Uh, so uh, anyway, I'm still just kind of thinking about the last part. <laughs> Uh, this really punks you out if you ever try it. So uh, anyway, we get out of the tanks and we don't see this big gate. So immediately we call alternate breach. And we uh, end up putting this big wall charge of C4 on the wall. Uh, get out of the way, blow it, and just, I mean, huge hole. We... I short stroked it. You're getting me. I'm <laughs> really getting into my story. I'm getting worse. Ah! <laughs> All right, so anyway, we called alternate breach, blew a big hole in this wall and whatnot, and infilled, and as we get in there, of course, as it would have it, there's nobody in there. It was supposed to be like 200 enemy, whatever. Nobody was in there, uh, and we flood in, and there's, except this, like, one dude, and he sees all of us rangers just pouring in, rocking and rolling, and he points right beside us, and we're trying to figure out what he's pointing to, and then we look over, and like 10 feet over from where we were, not 10, probably like... 50 feet up. Probably like 50 feet over from where we were is this gigantic open gate that we just didn't see. So it was just a complete idiotic moment where we did blew a huge hole in a wall uh, for uh, no good reason. <laughs> so that's it. Go. Whoa. 